Welcome in YouTube, it's your boy The Crow Show. On today's video, we're going to talk about the real problem with the Dead by Daylight community. And once again, Spook and Jukes finds himself at the center of the controversy. I'm starting to notice a pattern, are you? For those of you who are not constantly online and chronically on Twitter, let me summarize this for you in Spook and Jukes' latest video. During this match, there was a Nicolas Cage who was the first survivor that I chased. Once I downed this Nicolas Cage and hooked him, he immediately tried to attempt on hook and go next. Ended up getting saved by one of his teammates before he could fully die on hook. And his response was to go in a locker and completely AFK um, so that there would be crows and noise notifications so that I would hook him and kill him. But instead, I left him on the ground for the duration of the match and I hooked him when the match was over. And afterwards, he called me pathetic. Throughout the match, I explained my reasoning for doing this. That reason being, if someone wants to give up at 5 gens, in my opinion, they should just disconnect and leave their teammates with a bot, at least who will do gens and get saves. If you're just going to attempt on first hook and completely get yourself out of the game and leave your teammates in a 1v3 situation at 5 gens, I just don't, I don't agree with that. I think that's ridiculous. I think it's a cop out. I think it's silly that you can even leave a match that early and not get any sort of penalty and not leave your teammates with a bot. So my philosophy is if you want to force your teammates to sit through this painful match in a 1v3, you can sit through that entire match as well. If you want to be AFK, that's fine. If you want to keep running in front of me so I down you, that's fine. I'll keep downing you and leaving you there. Um, or you can just go next by disconnecting. That's totally fine. But you're not just going to leave for free, at least not when I'm playing killer. So there, that's the problem with Dead by Daylight. It's Spook and Jukes. He's a real issue in the... I'm kidding. I side with Spook and Jukes in this case. If you want to leave early, go ahead and hit that disconnect button. Leave your teammates with at least a fighting chance by giving them a bot. We all know the bots aren't great. But in some cases, especially when somebody just wants to leave and be a big crybaby and go next, at least the bot will try. Now the reason why Spook and Juke says go ahead and hit the disconnect button is because there are penalties for disconnecting. Now don't quote me on this because it's really hard to find the progression of time for disconnect penalties, but the first time you disconnect in a day it's a one minute penalty. For one minute, you cannot queue up. After that, if you disconnect again, uh, that's a five minute penalty. And then after that, I believe it goes to 15 minutes and then an hour, and it progresses all the way up to, I believe, 48 hours. Now, I totally understand getting frustrated with Dead by Daylight. I understand the need or want to go next, whether you disconnect or if you want to just die on first hook. I've been there many times. I've played this game for way too long and I've done these things in the past. I'd be lying if I said I didn't go next on first hook, but in the last, I would say year, I've been making more of an effort to stay in game because I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of this. I'm a solo queue player for the most part. Luckily, I've been able to play with some friends lately, but people do quit this game quite a bit and that's totally understandable. But it's a real bummer when somebody goes next on first hook or disconnects even. Our time is precious. I work a full-time job. Uh, I've got a wife, you know, I've got a cat and a dog, you know, all of these things take time. I've also got other hobbies I'm really interested in. I, I like watching the WNBA. NFL just started. There's a lot of things going on in my life and playing Dead by Daylight is not my top priority. So when I do find the time to play, it can be really frustrating when people just give up immediately. And I know that other people are in the same spot. You know, some of you have families, many of you have jobs, many of you have school. When that time of playing Dead by Daylight is interrupted by big crybabies who just want to move on and find the ideal situation for the next trial, it is very frustrating. Now, if you're hopeful that behavior will come up with a fix for this issue, I wouldn't hold my breath. Here's a post from Peanuts, just talking about how it's basically just a symptom of the game. You know, if somebody is going to go next on first hook or even disconnect, at the end of the day, that person is going to ruin the experience for everybody involved in that trial. So if they go next, 
day's ruined. If they stay in, they're not going to progress the game. They're just going to go AFK. Are there any possible solutions? I don't know. I've seen some good ones on Twitter. Let's check it out. Remove the ability to unhook yourself unless you're using perks that allow it. Remove the skill checks in second phase and add a give up button if you are the last or second to last survivor alive. Make the first DC penalty 30 minutes. Don't play if you plan on quitting. Now this one's a little bit extreme because the, the first DC penalty, I, I actually do think the DC penalties are in a good place right now. But I do enjoy the idea of removing the ability to unhook yourself unless you're using perks that allow it, like slippery meat. Now Spook and Jukes also came up with a solution very similar. If you want to rage quit a match of 5 gens, eat a DC penalty and leave your team with a bond. As it stands right now, Dead by Daylight and the community are forced to police each other in ways that are very unpleasant. So you have the person who wants to give up, they're just going to give up. They're, they're going to go f go next on first hook, they're going to disconnect, or they're just gonna, going to go AFK so they don't have to eat a disconnect penalty, and they're going to go watch a YouTube video, go scroll through TikTok, whatever. I'm basically a killer main at this point, and I really don't mind the option of just slugging them and let them cry on the floor. There's actually a very easy solution and very easy fix to this. The sad thing is it does require the community to work as a collective. If you're in a position where you want to disconnect or leave early on a lot of your games or any of your games, that's a symptom of burnout in this game. You're simply burnt out of Dead by Daylight, and that's okay. We all go through it at various levels while playing this game. So when you find yourself in that spot, just go play another game. Like, I'll put up uh, some numbers here. I've been playing games like NBA 2K, Power Wash Simulator, and more recently, Spec Ops The Line is a story-based game I've been meaning to finish. I've found that this has helped my mental health and my burnout level with Dead by Daylight quite a bit. And this is something that's affecting the entire community. I'll show a series of tweets here where other people are talking about it. And, and you look at the dates and times, it's it's quite recently, but it does, it has been a thing since the creation of this game. I don't know what it is about Dead by Daylight that makes people rage quit. I know it exists in other games, but it's just a weird symptom of people who are very frustrated and clearly very burnt out of Dead by Daylight, but still continue to play it and ruin the experience for others. So all we're left with is for the DVD community to police itself. My plea, if you're feeling burnout, please move on to another game. Take a time out, it'll be okay. DVD's still going to be there. Your cute little sable skins, still gonna be there. Go play some Fallout or something. I don't know. Go play another game for a bit. In the meantime, and I encourage other killer mains to do the same thing, if somebody's going to try to go next, they get saved off hook, just slug them, let them bleed out, or let them eat a disconnect penalty. Do what Spook and Jukes is doing. Now I'm curious, is this happening to you frequently and how do you deal with it? How are you managing your burnout? I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you have any solutions, please chime in. And if you enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one.